What is going on, beautiful people? So pro-black influencers are silent right now. Let's talk about it. So unless you've lived underneath a rock, you know that four or five police officers beat a man to death and neglected to give the suspect aid, you know, even though there was no probable cause to pull him over. Rest in peace to Tyree Nichols. And so the man, the man died. The, the footage was rough. They had 4K um, 4K footage of what happened from multiple angles, and they even synced up the audio, so you have a clear idea of what happened, when it happened, and what went down. And, and the audio, even after, gives an even clearer picture of what occurred before, during, and after, and the cops were making a lot of excuses, saying the dude was high, saying he was in the other lane. You know, all, all kinds of excuses to not be able to detain a 145 pound grown man that's six foot three, um, even though there are four of you guys consistently wrestling him to the ground for about two or three minutes. Doesn't make any sense to me. Sounds like some BS if you ask me, but um, we'll have to wait until the court case is carried out because in America, we have to wait until the until justice is served. You are innocent until proven guilty. So we'll let the courts do their thing. But my issue is with these pro-black influencers being silent right now. And although we are able to make our own our own judgment based on what happened. The, the the film is in 4K. The audio is very high quality. Everything is crystal clear as far as what can be heard. I'm sure there are a lot of details that are being left out. <clears throat> but the pro-black influencers are silent right now and they always yell about oppression, racism, um, the white man, slavery, reparations, all of these mystical things that are holding our community back. You know, They're like almost magical. And they scream at the rooftops and yell into the deepest of canyons, canyons about how we are being held back and oppressed. But when people do dirt, when co black cops do dirt to citizens that share their reflection in their own community, we are completely silent. This is a major issue because this makes us seem like we're not held accountable. You know, <clears throat> we're not able to help hold our own community accountable. It also makes us look like we lack critical thinking skills. And it shows lack of character, you know, on our behalf. And this is just my personal opinion of these pro-black uh, organizational leaders that are being silent. Um, I feel like you should be the loudest at times like this um, and that, you know, they should be people that do these kind of things that hurt our own community should be kind of cleansed and, and canceled. You know, everybody's always ready to cancel someone. Let's cancel any pro-black um, influencer that is silent, that's not willing to cover the footage, that's not willing to talk about it. A lot of people are running from the conversation because they don't want to make black people look bad. I feel like silence looks way worse than any conversation that we could possibly have. Everyone has their own opinion on these police officers of when they cross the line. I know, I know where my where, where my line stands. I'm not sure about you guys. Uh, the land for me was the head kicks and the haymaker punches that that was the line besides you know they're not being probable cause but i have not seen what led up to that traffic stop so i cannot give a valid opinion on if i think that was probable cause or not just based on what i've seen the footage was in from multiple angles it was in 4k y'all seen it y'all read about it we all seen the same video um, but I think we should really be having this conversation and people should be called out if they're silent. And this is channel is about positivity. And I apologize. I've been covering so much of this lately. It's just that, you know, I have a black family. I have a, I come from a black family. I have a son. Right. So I feel like I would kind of be like a coward if I didn't. But didn't talk about this because it's very interesting, you know, um, but let me know what you guys think. Lots of pro pro black influencers, pro pro black, uh, you know, organizational leaders not talking about it, running from it. I think they should hit it head on. Um, and to be honest with you, they should not be considered, um, you know, pro black activists. If you are not having this conversation, this is just my opinion. Um, rest in peace to Tyree Nichols. Uh, police reform is on the way, you know. Um, it just took for black officers to do dirt for the change to come, but at least the change is coming. I am not for removing police presence. I think that's a bad idea, even though other people think otherwise. 
you know, everyone wants to remove the police until someone kicks your door in <laughs> with firearms telling you to, you know, give me everything in the safe. And then all of a sudden we need more police, you know, it's like a little too late for that, you know. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful year. I'm out.